What is up random person on the internet? RTG here, back with some more humankind. Ended last episode putting in an artisan workshop in the capital. It's not really the most profitable thing to do. Yeah, extra one industry per workers and two worker slots. Two worker slots is going to potentially move workers away from money and science. But we get a customs farm, which is gold per ongoing trade, which I didn't notice until in between episodes. So put that in, that's an extra 54 gold per turn. So right now, I'm just kind of looking at ways of upping our money. But most of our territories have these kind of things pre-built you your production used to be so good and just fell off we could get a few more of our unique districts up because that is a lot of food maybe growing would have maybe growing our cities would help with a lot of the issues that we're going through also things like a printing house just stuff that generally increase our slots without us having to build districts that lower our stability granted cities like this have the stability to spare districts are faster and potentially have a similar yield Okay, up to 300, almost 400 gold per turn. Agrarian star unlocked. Things are looking good. Okay. La Katrina's Cossack. This does not, off the bat, include Edgar. Gonna attack from this direction, potentially make a retreat to the north. She isn't retreating, so it's causing me concern. You know what? I'm fine. Our land units take some damage. That is a sacrifice I am willing to take. I hope our little chat is as unpleasant for you as it is for me. I, you see this? He wants me to withdraw my demand so that he can make a demand almost immediately. I see through your schemes. Hmm. Uh, international crow, uh, international vice words, an international crisis vote would go in our favor, all things considered. I don't want, to, as much as I don't want to placate him every turn, this kind of helps, especially since he is losing. Ah, oh, it's kind of balancing out. It's less than ideal. Hmm. Put it to a vote. Okay. Annoyingly, you, you make my skin crawl. This does not. This does not affect La Katrina. So unless we declare war with Edgar, take La Katrina's cities, and then somehow still win the war against Edgar, which annoyingly... Okay, so attacking 
attacking La Katrina's units does affect. Ooh, he's at war. And he has a lot of cities, a lot of units on the other side of the, the continent. Mm. Russians are kind of all over. Our territory was burnt down, but it wasn't by another player, so I'm fine. Yep. Can you can can you move? Okay, can you guys like get out of there? Cause he's gonna try some. He's gonna try something. Speak quickly. Your voice is like nails on slate. Ah, should I should have potentially cashed that in before? Get an army revealed. La Katrina has cancelled an only bring misery on me. Oh. Yeah, that is the opposite of a problem, because I was giving you stuff for free. Okay, so Edgar had spies in our territory. To the surprise of no one. We should get a few, I guess a couple spy masters of our own, scrap the taxation office. Capital, okay, you aren't overpopulated. You are close to being popul overpopulated. You guys, you know, go under rougher water, makes you harder to attack. Go past the rougher water, heal up. I would characterize the level of pollution as low, but that's not the same as healthy. Come, come, let us make plans together. Okay, is there anything useful I can get from you? Incense, money, and money per instance on all our cities. We are making almost 700 gold per turn, so... Okay, we are making over 700 gold per turn. Gives me the confidence to buy a bit more, like this gold. See, gotta spend money to make money. And then... I guess in terms of resources, I'd want things that increase things that increase gold and two food per sage on administrative centers or three gold per city. Okay, that is uh, enough purchasing for now. This stretches my code, but not to breaking point. To put it simply, simply magnificent. Okay, I think. Yielded to demands, I presume that was like. Most of that was gold and or yielding to enemy, yielding to allies. You are at war with a lot of people, my friend. Okay, those guys are back up and running. We are back up to 20, 20k gold. Is there anything in our other cities worth purchasing? 16k for a mana war. You know what? Do it. I know it's not the best use of our money, but 
Okay, this is going to make you overpopulated. You... I don't believe have a hamlet anyway. Okay. Plus six pop. Still losing gold, but still losing food per turn. Right. Fine, get a grain silo. It's not going to be built fast enough, but might be useful in a bit. Read all about it. One of your overseas ambassadors, posted in a foreign empire's court, has written to you with rather embarrassing news. Your lowly renown has come to the attention of a national scandal sheet, a lurid and profane publication, who've ridiculed your undistinguished rule. A copy is enclosed with the letter, the aforementioned article entitled, The Empire Led by a Donkey. Flattering, it is not, and could cause damage to your reputation at home should it get distributed here. What is your command? You can censor it and get a discount to unit productions for 20 turns. Um, can participate. Offering to give the scandal sheet an interview might lead to a better outcome. That sounds like a terrible idea. Or we could ignore it, which sounds like a equally terrible idea. What censor? We... I don't... Th I think we just finish the majority of unit production we were doing. There's these guys who I guess are 20% cheaper. Ooh, we could... Could absorb... Hmm? Why is it only showing... Piece of the territory? We could potentially absorb some cities. Make our... Make our influence a bit better. So we could potentially turn something over here into a city. You are industry poor worker and money poor worker. You also have the Chocolate Hills, which gives science on empire for each empire you have encountered. So that's maxed out already. And w there was one. Oh, right over here. Industry, science, food on the main plaza. Uh, you, I don't believe had any natural wonders. No. And I don't think you had any either. Alright, you do have Harlong Bay. So, combat strength on naval units and extra vision range. So, we could potentially do some do some absorbing I'd like this territory back, so I could connect these guys up. Well, this guy up. You know what? I think with the amount of influence we have, it... You know what? What would be smart also is building a train station over here. And a harbor. With a train station and a harbor, it would be smart to turn this into a city. You start with every nope, everything up to early modern. Uh oh no, it 
Okay. This is everything up to industrial. If we were going to evolve the city, we should Hmm. Trade fair gives the trade fair status, which is 20% 20, 20 gold. A manufactory. Bank stock, stock exchange and cabinet of curiosities. This is everything already unlocked and constructible from the early the ancient to the early modern so i guess we bounce back chartered companies we don't need mercantilism you don't have saltpeter it is extra industry per worker though hmm too bad we can't put down a hamlet. Do we need extra industry per worker? No, I don't think we do. So three turns, we evolve this into a city. Propeller researched, so whale fishing, uh, seafood wholesalers. So this is money per naval trade route and money on harbors. And we have our own steam frigate and ironclads. These guys upgrade. Oh, these guys upgrade to steam frigates. Why did I think they were ironclads? And the man of war. The man of war upgrades to an ironclad. Hmm. And we spent off all the gold that we had. So, whoops. Right, we have a wandering envoy somewhere. I wonder what they are up to. I guess it's this one. Yeah. Haven't gotten much EXP, but I think that's just because we since it out so late, so a lot of the map was already discovered. Because I'm pretty sure they earn EXP from exploring. Zula accepted our demand. And they have made a demand of their own. There's just no way to make this work. I do not... I'm not in the business of making threats. However, in this case, I find your... I will see you grovel. Hmm. I You're not fine. Testing the waters, you understand. I am... That is an okay exchange. Yeah, all you guys are healed up. We don't have enough iron or um cop iron or coal to upgrade the mano to upgrade to a mano war cheaply. It sorry. To upgrade to a ironclad cheaply. You guys just chill here until this man of war gets into position. Okay. Chartered companies unlocked. Scientists are unlocked. Which means we should be able to more or less freely do this. Granted, I now see a small fleet at our borders.
that down that's going to be done almost instantly seafood wholesalers does nothing for us you are should first of all change this to city growth you are at nine pop Seven turns for a steam frigate. You know what? Worth. We just got a scientist star. We need another six for the follow up. There's mounted warfare, which is all the way back here. For horsemen, which we are past. Parades, which. I guess and night raids so extra extra ransacking bonuses wow siege cannons for mortars which i think oh no we haven't been doing much of that and money from spoils of war interesting not i not needed Watchtowers just give vision vision range. Uh, what was it? Stock exchange that we just got. Yeah, stock exchanges is money per trader. Bank is ten percent money. Which apparently we are pretty low down in banking. No, we just we just got banking. So what? Okay, so yeah, that is bank. Ten percent money. Eleven money, which would be uh, main plaza and luxury resources. Commodity market upgrades to the stock exchange. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Seafood, seafood wholesalers, they upgrade for sea trade. So plus five money per naval trade and fought and money on harvest. So extra 400 gold. extra 270 i think that was all the major naval trade stuff weird nope this is an extra 100 it's an extra like 200 in terms of technologies i think we had to combustion engine and aeronautics and then backfill some of these technologies because i kind of want to potentially have planes Okay, we are making almost a thousand gold per turn. So, getting our resources back up. We need coal. Okay, that should keyword. Oh, we're already back. Oh, no, we didn't use up that much influence. Steam frigates upgrade. Yeah, the steam frigate upgrade is pretty cheap. The ironclad, not so much. Even with all the resources, it's still 15k. So we could upgrade this man o' war. To, a, to an ironclad next turn or upgrade both of these guys this turn these guys have 57 combat strength the man of war is 50 is 57 going to 61 these guys are 53 going to 58 so basically slightly stronger than the man o war i think this is an overall 
better upgrade for us. You are working on a steam frigate. Manoa is still ex extremely expensive. Upgrade these guys. So we have a full army of gun well, almost full army of gunners. Should just boop boop. Move you back, take you out of the queue. Okay, you're getting you are overpopulated, you are barely making food per turn. You're going to start losing that food per turn in three turns. Jamaica is up to f to 42 population, by the way. Just, just thought you guys would be interested. Someone did some plundering. Could buy all these resources. And... It would increase it would take up it would technically put us in debt oh no um upkeep will change to 114 per turn 140 what is yeah 414 i don't recall how much it is now but that is a purchase of four or five five new resources this two silk two mercury why is this only two merc Oh, four mercury okay so extra production extra science this actually might be a decent trade this also seems like a decent trade okay that is all the trading I am comfortable doing at the moment should I should get an envoy and put it down here so we can have a view of La Katrina's territories and this seems like a decent place to build one since you are technically overpopulated Annoyingly, I don't have any build you in the city. I don't have any uh, spawn points this far out, and it would be it wouldn't be a waste because I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's five turns. It's technically faster just to it's technically faster. I think just to swim you over. Estate star unlocked. Yeah, faster just to, to put you in the water and move. Friend, it is good to see you. Pop gain, city starvation. Um, this I don't necessarily care about. Doctrines change in seven turns. So, in seven turns, we could potentially consider declaring war against La Katrina. Let's see. Combat strength wise, you are technically double, but as we saw earlier in the week, that may not necessarily equate to much. 
uh, build a star four districts four districts for an additional build a star we don't have any quote unquote cheap districts at the moment on a related note I want you to build a hamlet for us look at it 11 food 26 in um industry 10 money 10 science and four influence i am willing to take a turn off the steam frigate to get that done and we will end the episode there i would like to thank you guys again for the support on the videos the channel has been doing very well well very well for a small channel like mine does but we've had a lot of support on this season so on this series so far we've brought in quite the number of new viewers new subscribers and i would like to just give a full heartfelt thank you and if you've made it through this far into the video you're a real one um small i guess this will go into the, the rants and outtakes section since we are at the end of the week i am honestly taken aback by how many of the videos have gotten have gotten hundreds of views within a matter of days like some less than a week some few days some take a bit longer some are at that close to 100 marker but at the end of the day you guys continue to support and when i started this channel a few years ago well we actually sat at i i need to stop these tangents but i'm going to do it anyway my birthday is coming up in february so there should be a upload on my birthday hopefully i remember to acknowledge it I'm not going to tell you when it is so you'll have to just tune in to every video in february and one of them will technically be it but the channel's birthday is actually coming up in april so that that would be interesting it's going to be the channel's second birthday so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'll do a live stream if i'll just upload some new content so some non-human kind related content which I don't know how that's gonna do but i'm looking forward to it all the same but with that I have been RTG, you have been you. Peace, love, tranquility to all of you, and I will see you next week.